Papillary thyroid cancer or carcinoma is the most common type of thyroid cancer. It represents 75-85% to of all thyroid cancer cases. More common in women 20-55 to year age group. Also happens in children. It is often well differentiated, slow growing, and localized. Although it can metastasize to lymph nodes, lungs and bones. Lymphatic spread of metastases is more common than via blood. Multifocality is common. It means more than one nodules in the thyroid gland. 30 to 85% of papillary carcinoma is multifocal disease. Increased lymph node size around thyroid gland means lymph node metastasis from papillary thyroid carcinoma, which may produce cystic structures near the thyroid. 25% of thyroid glands has microscopic papillary thyroid cancer, but most of these lesions are very small, several millimeters, and are not clinically significant. Most papillary cancers are identified in the early stages, greater than 80% stages 1 or 2, and have an excellent prognosis. Mortality is markedly increased in stage 4 disease, distant metastases, but this group comprises only about 1% of patients. General prognosis is 5-year survival in 97-98%, to and 10-year survival 93%. Papillary thyroid carcinoma is usually discovered during examination or ultrasound imaging. Most persons are asymptomatic. Some cases may have local symptoms. Fine needle aspiration biopsy, FNA, is used to confirm diagnoses. FNA accuracy is very high and it is a process widely used in these cases. Other investigation methods include ultrasound and nuclear scan. Thyroid ultrasound is useful for distinguish solid from cystic lesion, calcification, and identify microcalcinomas. Small carcinomas which is less than 1 cm is called microcarcinoma. Thyroglobulin can be used as a tumor marker for papillary thyroid cancer. HBME1 staining may be useful for differentiating papillary carcinomas from follicular carcinomas. In papillary lesions, it tends to be positive. Reduced expression of ATV5E is significantly associated with the diagnosis of papillary thyroid cancer and may serve as an early tumor marker of the disease. Papillary carcinoma mostly is associated with some genetic mutations. The only treatment of papillary thyroid cancer is surgery. Thyroidectomy partial or total. Thyroid lobectomy, partial, alone may be sufficient treatment for small, less than 1 cm, low-risk, unifocal, intrathyroidal papillary carcinomas if the cancer is more than 1 cm. Total thyroidectomy and lymph node removal is the therapy of choice. After surgical thyroid removal, the patient waits around 4 to 6 weeks to then have radioiodine therapy. This therapy is intended to both detect and destroy any metastasis and residual tissue in the thyroid. The treatment may be repeated 6 to 12 months after the initial treatment of metastatic disease where disease recurs or has not fully responded. Papillary tumors tend to be more aggressive in patients over age 45. Patients are administered hormone replacement levothyroxine for life after surgery. After successful treatment, 35% of the patients may experience a recurrence within a 40-year span. Also, patients may experience a high incidence of nodule metastasis, with 35% cases of cervical node metastases. Most reliable way to calculate prognosis is Massey scoring system. Metastasis, age at presentation, completeness of surgical resection, invasion, extrathyroidal size, this is a modification of the AGES system. It is probably the most reliable staging method available, also known as the MAIX system.